I'm sorry if the vlog goes up super late today because I've got like 10 minutes left to leave for school and it's still rendering. It's almost done, so I should probably be able to post it, but I'm sorry if yesterday's vlog went up super late. <laughs> but I've still got to make my bed and get dressed and brush my hair and be ready for school, so I've got to go. Maybe I didn't need to stress as much as I thought. I got my bed made, my backpack packed, stuff taken out of it, things switched over from my purse, and the vlog is uploading. It's just been a kind of crazy stressful day already, and it's only like 9am. But everything so far is done. I just have to, to wait and see where things are going to go. But yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. Crazy day, definitely, but a good day. So it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I decided I was going to straighten my hair because that's what I do. No, I took a shower last night and I had it up in a bun and so it got really frizzy. It was like super wavy and it got really frizzy today and it's irritating me. So I decided I was going to straighten it even though it's like 5 o'clock. Oops. This is what my hair looked like before. Like super curly and like frizzy and it irritates the crud out of me. So I had it like up in a bun so that it'd be out of my way, but it, it drives me nuts because I can like see this little curl and it's got like flyaways and it drives me nuts. So I, I'll straighten my hair sometimes when my hair is annoying me. <laughs> That's honestly why I straighten my hair is because my hair is annoying me. <laughs> so I went to vlog to tell you about my crazy weird like roller coaster of a day today on the way home from school and I got completely distracted. Um, <laughs> But basically, yeah, this morning was great. I went to class and we had fun. And then I came home and I got some work done and I got some planning done. And I... What else did I do today? I don't remember. But then I was like going to school and my phone said to leave at 5 and it took me on a route. I never... Route? A route? A route? A bus route I'd never been on. So I was waiting and some lady came out and was like, um, I think that bus has already left. And I was like, well, it says it's supposed to leave at, like, 5.07. It was, like, 5.03. So I was, like, waiting around, and that bus came. And then I was waiting for the bus that I always take, like, the 17. And it was supposed to be there at, like, 5.17. Oh, that's ironic. I didn't even notice that. But it was supposed to be there at 5.17. And it wasn't there. And I was like, well, okay, maybe it's a little bit late. And so I waited. And it still wasn't there. And I waited until 5.30, which is when my class starts. And it still wasn't there. And I was like, well... I'm screwed either way because if the bus shows up now, yeah, it'll get me to school faster, but I'll still be late. So I just walked, and by the time I got to school, the bus still hadn't been there, which pissed me off. Because one, I was already stressed that I was late, but two, I was depending on this public transportation, which is supposed to be reliable, and it didn't show. And so I was like pissed off and stressed out. I got into class, and they'd already started, of course, because I was late. And so I felt like I was behind and I had missed some of the vocabulary stuff and I was like feeling really awful and I walk in and my teacher goes, oh good, can you help me? Because on the first day of class I was able to help get her computer to project because thanks mom, I'm a tech nerd. Um, so I got it to project and she goes, thank you, you're our savior. And so I felt a little bit better and that was kind of like, oh okay. But then I could tell that I was still stressed out because I was making a lot of simple mistakes in my grammar and my spelling and like things that I was saying. I was just really frustrated with that, like frustrated with myself, like, come on, get out of this funk, like you've got this, like you know this, like you've got French experience, you know what you're saying, like you know what you're supposed to say. And it was just frustrating me to no end that I could not get out of this funk. And so I kind of spent the whole of like my French class in a bad mood and not having fun. And so I... I got out and I actually had a text from my mom saying like, have fun in French. I was like, man, that didn't really go so well. Not really. No, I, no, no, not really. But so I ended up walking home and I did this thing that I do where I like put my headphones in so that like, cause my headphones have the mic on it so that people think I'm like on the phone and I'll like talk to myself. I know I'm crazy and that probably sounds super crazy. But I do it and I like talk myself through so much. So I've talked myself out of my funk and I started planning for some things. So actually right now my computer is up and I am getting ready to start college application stuff because I am going to go to college in the fall. I mean I'm at like college, but I'm gonna go to a university in the fall. And so I've got two different college applications to fill out. One for Fresno State and one for 
University of Utah and we'll see how this works. I'm gonna try and fill them out early and get them done so that I can not have to stress about them as everyone else is stressing about them towards finals week. Because um, I feel like that's when like applications are due, uh, which in high school it's not as bad because like you might have midterms, but they're really not as bad. But like in college, I'm like, I've got finals. I need to get them done and in early. So hopefully getting them in early will also bode well for getting answers back. But we'll see. Yeah, that's been today is like crazy up and down, roller coaster all over the place. Um, yeah, it's been insane. And then just like the excitement of all these new things that are coming and like planning for them already. I'm sure some people think I'm crazy for planning already ahead to like next fall. Like this semester just started and I'm already like, okay, where am I going next fall? Where will I be living? All of this stuff and planning all of this.